Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So um, today I'm playing uh, Infinite Drive. So this is a blockchain racing game, very early stages. I think they're calling this the closed alpha. So in order to play the game, you do have to have an NFT. Um, so I have uh, bought one car. So, so the uh, NFTs are live on the Solana blockchain. Um, currently floor price uh, was one uh, sol. So that's about, I can't remember what that is now, $30, something like that. Um, so this is the one car I've got. Um, very basic sort of game setup. I'm playing on an iPad actually, so it's a mobile game. So um, playing this through test flight, you can also play it on Android devices. Um, but you do need to connect your, um, you need to have a wallet. So you need the NFT with your wallet it has to be <laughs> um, on, on the same device. So I've um, got my, um, my uh, phantom wallet with my NFT in it on the iPad. So that's how it's connected through and that's how it knows I got this NFT. Um, when you go, when you um, cr uh, sort of enter for the first time, you get given some of these tokens at the top there. So you can see I've got a whole bunch of gold. Um, that's just the sort of the in-game token that you need to um, play. So I'm not very good at these driving games. As you can see, there's not much open um, at the moment. So really just the daily race um, that you can play. Um, and there's just like a leaderboard. And depending on how... Um, depending on how fast you are, you can get rewards as well. But you can see a whole bunch of stuff coming in here, lots of daily races, challenges, championship stuff coming. Obviously, um, you know, uh, you'll be encouraged to own different cars and all that sort of stuff, So, but um, early days. So um, I've not played this one before. Um, they're, they're just swapping out different, I think there's only two tracks, there's two tracks. Um, so this is, I've not played this one before. So it's gonna cost me 100 tokens to race. Um, position one gets 5,000 gold. I have to, um, so my, it's actually not my best time. This is my um, one of my sons had a go this morning. Um, so uh, we're a long way away from gold and he's a lot better than me. So I doubt, <laughs> I doubt I'll be doing it in two minutes. Anyway, let's race. Um, so the setup I've done, I'm not very good at these. Um, so I'm tilting this screen and then tapping to accelerate and I've got automatic braking on. So we'll see how we get on. Um, as I say, sort of, um, yeah, I'm not very good really. So let's, um, okay, let's see how we go. So a long straight. And there's a ghost car which will be zooming off ahead of me fairly soon, I would think. Um, I don't know if that's another player. Oh, it's looking like a break. So, oh, that's pretty tight. So, I'm sort of an, an off-road racer, really. So I'm, I'd be better in rally games. I'm not really good at keeping to the track, um, especially one I haven't seen before. Oh, oop. I had to, I did find the the default sensitivity <laughs> on on this uh, on the tilt controls was was really twitchy. So I've turned this right down. Um, so I'm having to um, do a lot of physical movement. <laughs> there is a setup where you can have a on um, screen steering wheel. Uh, personally, I found that impossible to use. Um, so I'm tilting, which I don't generally like to do. Um, I say this is sort of fairly early build. So you can see it's breaking there um, for me. Um, so maybe when I get a bit better, I'll actually switch on, ooh, switch on <laughs> manual braking. <laughs> um, so that would be sort of two. So on the on the left-hand side, you'd have brake, and on the right-hand side, you'd have, oh my word, I, oh my word, you'd have acceleration. So it spun right out there. Um, but as I say, this is sort of very early. They're calling it alpha. Um, I mean, obviously, it sort of plays okay. Oh, yeah. um, they may want to tweak <laughs> some of the sensitivity of the controls. Um, but obviously, when the first time you play a, a, um, a racetrack, you haven't got a clue what's going on. So next time, I'll probably be um, a bit faster. But um, I don't think I'm going to get very close to um, where I need to be on this. Although, actually, I'm on the straight, so not, not too bad. I'm not going to beat, am I going to beat my, uh... no, I'm not even going to beat my, uh, my own son. There we go. Um, oh, I mean, maybe I am. Um, so gonna have to go five seconds faster. Um, could maybe do five seconds faster. That's not that's not terrible. Um, so yeah, I was better in the second section, um, but not very good in the first. And so on. Anyway, um, let's let's leave that there. So anyway, this is just sort of a video. Um, I don't think at the moment, obviously, um, apart from having the NFT, there's no blockchain items in here at all. You're not getting any rewards. So it's just a very sort of basic. Um, sort of demo of the fact that it works. Um, as I say, you can, uh, if you want to try it out, you have to go and buy a NFT on Solana um, using Magic Eden or I guess OpenSea um, and then um, go 
go through the um go via the website and download the uh the, the demo build um and, uh, and and there you go um what else have we got in here um the garage editing obviously i've not got any uh, any other stuff in there um so there's the uh, join or create a club that looks like sort of guild type stuff create your own challenges obviously none of this is live at the moment um marketplace coming soon so you, so obviously you say at the moment you are buying stuff on open sea but there'll be um as with most games i think there'll be in, the focus will be a proprietary in-game sort of market. So you're going to buy new cars in there. You'll be able to um, trade um, cars that other people have bought um, and then rental as well. So sort of a key part of, block, of sort of blockchain economies that are coming in now and um, giving the, you know, basically giving the ability pe for people to, um, uh, you know, spend a little bit of money. Obviously you still need probably the, the Solana um, token, probably can't do it with in-game money, but maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, but instead of buying a whole car, you can just sort of you know, come in and, and spend a little bit of money and just see if you like the game or not. So pretty important, I think, um, once you get people in the game. So there we go. Um, Infinite Drive. Uh, keep an eye on that one. Uh, thanks for watching the video. See you again soon.